Hi Aquarius, this is Just with your May 3rd weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Aquarius. Um, heartbreak, pain. My condolences for any of you who have had a loss of someone due to a heart attack. I do see that, but you know, been seeing death all week long. So there's that. Uh, be careful with your health. Please be careful with your health and educate yourself about heart health are you doing the right things for your heart health now no this is not a psa and i don't want you know to preach to anyone but i it's a necessary to say that when i see the cards and the combination that they are be very careful with your own health um okay so i feel like um so that being said um you guys are focusing on what you've lost. Yeah, this is, you know, we have full moon in Scorpio, Aquarius, so we just had it and the effects are hardcore and it's still kind of showing up in the readings now. I took some time off hoping that the readings wouldn't remain so heavy, but here we are with heavy readings. So I do apologize. It's not my fault, but you are focusing on what you've lost and what you don't have. For some of you, you need answers. You may be reaching out to people that can give you those answers, especially if someone owes you money. <laughs> and, 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 you know, in honesty, you guys just want to be financially sane and sound, right? And if you're having a particular problem with an individual, it doesn't have to be anything love, intimate love related, but you want to rectify the situation, no matter what the cost may have been in the past. For those of you who are employed, I feel for some of you, you may start to look for something new. Some of you could be going back to work. Um, others of you, you may be looking for something new. It's going to take time. You're not rushing out there. You want to make a very sound um, decision. So you may start in this season to start looking elsewhere and seeing what else is out there. You want to make more money. Um, you may feel like where you are, you're bored, you're not growing, or the environment is not conducive to where you want to be anymore. So I do see pending change for some of you employed Aquariuses. Those of you who are unemployed, you still have a strong grip on what you want where you want work to be you want to live a certain place you want to work a certain place you want to make a certain amount of money there are criterias that you still hold true and you may realize that it's going to take some time for me to um get all that i want and some of you don't want to settle now 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 you have to be careful <laughs> saturn is in your sign darling and although jupiter is there it's only before a moment and Jupiter can make things worse and it can make it better. So again, long as you're working hard, and for some of you, I do see that you have your own business, even though you may be unemployed, you may be working really hard looking for work and just coming to an understanding that it's just going to take as long as it's going to take. Others of you, though, I feel that you have a side business or you have something else where you generate income and that's going to be more of your focus, which I think it would be great for you to do because it looks very positive. Um, so good luck for any of you out there looking for work. It's a daunting task. Self-employed Aquarius says, well, you do well, you're okay, but emotions, yours or someone else's may be getting in the way of you making money for some of you. Um, yeah, you're mourning or someone is, and so that may affect your money. And you may say, yeah, because, you know, we lost someone or I have to go somewhere. We have to do something. And that right now is taking precedent over me focusing on your bit on my business, which makes sense to me. Car troubles. I see car troubles. So don't take them for granted. Pay attention. If you get any sign about your car, see about your car. Some of you may want a new car, but you know, again, everything is in time and you realize that this is a week that's going to real make you realize it's all going to happen in time. I'm going to let go and I'm going to let God. And although it may not give you a complete sense of happiness at this time, it's not about the emotions. It's about making decisions that will lead to solid foundations. And I love that. I like the way that you guys are thinking. I really do. Home life looks amazing. I feel that you're going to be having 
some parties, outings. Some of you are going on a trip with friends or family. This is an amazing time. If you fell out with someone or your friend group, your family group fell out with others, great time for you to be the mediator, for you to bring people together because it's all light, it's all peace, it's all love, and it's just a new beginning in those areas. So definitely enjoy that time with those that you feel closest to. Looks really good. Love, Aquarius, singles. Well, you have someone who looks good they clean up really well but they have issues i think this person may have some mental problems they're getting over though they really are um, make no mistake about it whether you, this is someone new or familiar to you singles whoever this person is they're getting better by the day um they used to suffer a lot. I feel like you would even realize that some people that you thought were crazy or had mental issues or were unstable, they're getting stable. They're better now. Um, the, unpos the impossible is possible with people that you probably have written off or thought, you know, you, you, they were identified as other. Does that make sense? <laughs> no longer. These people are whole and they're better. You also are meeting pretty quality people who've done their work who've overcome a lot, still have some work to do, but it pales in comparison to where they were before. So you have good grade of people, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries individual. It doesn't have to be. We know it's any sign, but it's someone who definitely shows up as new, fresh, and improved here. Um, but where are you going in love, right? You singles. I feel like some of you are going to let a situation go. You may let someone go. You may feel like, you know what? Um, you're, you're having a journey all on your own and I respect that and I'm gonna let you be. So if you've been pursuing someone or vice versa, it may slow down in time. Do expect it to slow down and to feel as though um, the efforts aren't the way that it used to be, which you may feel like it's fine. Ladies, I love your cards. I just love your cards. You have waited for someone for quite some time. You you hung in and you hung in for a long time. Now, you're like, I'm out of here. I'm done. Some of you are going to be moving and it's going to be such a great, stable place. Others of you, you're going to start to disconnect from drama overall. You want peace, stability, and that's going to be your main focus. Now, you're not completely over heartbreak, pain, disappointment, but you're getting there slowly but surely. And I feel by the end of this year, you're hold and removed from the past and you're fully able and willing to move forward in a very new um, and healthy way. Um, of course, when you get to that state, you have people that want to come back. Um, and so there could be someone wanting to come back into your life, not saying that it happens all the way at the end of this year, but very soon someone can want to come back into your life. But you, yourself, it's not about others right now for Aquarius single ladies. It's about you, your journey and where you're going. And you are very clear about your direction forward. Stay the course so you so that you will see it all the way through because you'll be so proud of yourself on the other side of this. Men, and you'll be an inspiration, ladies, to others out there. And by example, not even so much as having to tell anyone anything, just by sheer example. Single Aquarius men. Well, it seems like your motto is show me the money. Where's the money? Do you have something that you can really offer me? Because if you can't, then there's no need for you to. One thing that you men have become very clear about after going through some devastation of your own in the past, and you're past that, you but you could because you've gotten a lot of clarity and you know that there may be some things that I have to work on, sure. But you know what? If you do not present yourself as a type of person that is dynamic, you want an exceptional person to come into your life for you to open up, for you to give it a chance. Um, you don't intend to share your money. She needs to have her own. She needs to come <laughs> developed. <laughs> she needs to have her act together. <laughs> For some of you, you may still be attached to your past and you're fine with that. You may say, oh, yes, I'm still in love with someone. So if you're not better, if you don't meet, meet her status or better in my life and in my heart, then I don't, I'm not going to open up. Some of you know that. You may be saying to yourself, it's going to take a long time for me to meet the person that I'm meant to be with. And it's okay. I'm fine with that. Again, you're not completely happy about it because there's a part of you that you know you need to do the work, men. You need to do the work and release your past. Yes, you. Release your past. And you're like, you know, in due time, in due time, because I know it's going to take a special person. 
And in that time is when all of the work that I need to make is going to happen. And you know, because Aquarius is so smart, you know that it's not even a matter of work. It's just a matter of just letting them go and allowing somebody else to come in. And some of you, can I tell you a secret, cross watchers? Some of them, yeah, they do that just as a way <laughs> to weed out unnecessary people. <laughs> All right, smart. <laughs> couples, couples. Well... This is a truth reading. All of the readings are coming up very honest and true. And again, keep this in mind that even though I may say that this reading is directed to you, it could go vice versa. So Aquarius, you're realizing, I just said the same thing, I think to Pisces, you're realizing that this situation isn't going to necessarily, you're not going to get everything that you want out of this person and out of this relationship. Your person doesn't even believe that the two of you will be able to make this right. Someone could be proposing to the other person, let's be polygamous. Let's have an open marriage. Let's do, let's shake this up. You know, the values of someone has turned on its head. It's not going to be the same way that love and relationship used to go. No, no, no. Someone doesn't want that anymore. You know, someone is proposing something different. Why don't we? What do you say? And the other person's like, what? <laughs> so there's some issues here with monogamy. There's issues here with seeing a relationship go the distance and believing that this is going to work for the better. Some of you are on the brink of divorce, separation or breakup. Yes, you're on the brink. It could have something to do with a repetitive cycle of third party energy. Yes, is what I'm saying. Unfortunately, if this is not your story, guys, check back next week. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. And I feel that someone is getting real clear and someone's going to about to play chess, not checkers, while the other person thinks that they have the upper hand only to realize that they were the fool all along. I'm telling you, someone here, this situation could get out of hand. It could get ugly for no reason. It doesn't have to get ugly. It doesn't. I feel like it'll come all because of hurt feelings and emotions and daggers. And it's like one minute we're okay. We can work this out. Yeah, it'd be great. Next minute, someone done rubbed the other person the wrong way. And it's like, I'm tired of putting into this. Someone also feels like they're losing money. They've lost money. They've put too much into this. They've had to um, take care of the other person. And, and they may use that against the other person you know, that you're worthless. Basically, that's what they're saying, no matter what other words they're choosing. But there's a sense of, of feeling like someone is worthless. And I just get that there's going to be resentment. I get strong resentment coming from someone over time. And this thing, it can get out of control, you know. Um, and when I say out of control, meaning we're going to the courts, we're getting other people involved, we're saying things that you can never take back, those sorts of things where it gets out of control simply because of heightened emotions, right? The thing is, is one of you still has a lot of faith that you can overcome it, even if it's a third party, even if it's all the things that I've mentioned, they know that it's just time. That's what needs to be um, established, time. No rushing into this. No just, okay, everything is great the very next day. Hurry up and, and forgive me. Hurry up and heal. No, they know it's going to take time. And they're willing to take the time in this union to make it better. No matter what. It's just, will the other person reach that level of maturity to get there as well? So in the extended, if you happen to be interested in the full live love reading, the extended, you can find that link in the description box below. Also, you'll find all the details that we go over in that reading. You can also find the 2021 August Aquarius yearly reading and the link to my website. Otherwise, if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Aquarius. <laughs>